Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be focusing on the social part of social media and answer 10 video game playing questions. Now, um, I guess this thing started, uh, you know, someone originally uh, made a video answering these questions and then they kind of tagged their friends who also answered these questions in a video. And it's kind of been one of these things that just goes around and around YouTube where people make a video and then tag their friends who also make the video. And it's kind of like a fun way to, to get to know what other, you know, game playing YouTubers like, I guess. <laughs> so uh, I got tagged by my buddy Tylord, and uh, you might have seen him in the comment section before, but I will link to his channel uh, in my description too. And uh, I'm going to answer these questions, and at the end of the video, I'm going to also tag a couple of my YouTube buddies. So uh, keep an eye out for that too. And I guess we'll just get started with the first question here. I actually play like a lot of different types of games. Um, there's not very many games I don't play actually. Uh, I really probably like JRPGs, racing games, action games, adventure games like the most. Uh, the mo games I probably don't play as much or I don't know like I don't know really, I just kind of play everything, I guess. <laughs> I don't really play like graphic novel type games, I guess. Uh, what else don't I play? I don't play like uh, games made for little girls, you know, it's, I don't know, stuff like that. <laughs> but I, I literally just play everything, you know. I, I started very young as a kid just playing a lot of games because um, my family had an Atari computer system when I was a kid. And, my dad was like a huge pirate. He'd just copy like every single game he could get his hands on back then. So I, I played like all kinds of games, even way back in the day. And uh, I think that's kind of just transferred over to my adult life too. I, I just like all kinds of games if, if they're done well. You know, I just, I can appreciate like how much work went into it and, and appreciate how they did. And I think games really are just kind of like a, a form of art in their own way. And, and then that's why I enjoy just seeing everything there is out there. So I actually game quite a lot, I'd say. Um, I probably game at least like 12 hours a week, I'd say. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm playing a game at least like an hour or two each day. And then on the weekends, you know, I have a little more time so I can game a little more. So I, I play a fair amount, um, you know, like probably like 12, 14 hours a week, I'd say, something like that. Now, this question was actually the one I thought that was most interesting because I actually have put a lot of thought into this in the past. Uh, yes, video games can definitely be educational, uh, especially for younger people, I'd say. Um, you can actually learn a lot of skills just from playing video games. Uh, the one off the top of my head, you know, if you're playing even a game like Grand Theft Auto, you know, you learn little skills like how to read a map, you know, how to get around the city. Uh, you know, you're kind of driving around, learning how to get a sense of direction. You know, just little stuff like that that you don't even really think of, you can be taught by playing video games. And, um, you know, there's just all kinds of things that are kind of similar to like, uh, to that, besides just having motor skills, you know, an action game will teach you to have good motor skills and response times. And, um, you know, maybe like, um, even, uh, what would you say, like puzzle games really teach you how to kind of think outside the box. Just a lot of skills you can learn from playing video games. And I think a lot of people have realized that too. You can try to teach people bad stuff too from <laughs> video games. Uh, you know, you could even get your political ideas into video games and, and kind of indoctrinate people that way. So yeah, there is definitely a lot of ways to educate people uh, in video games. I think the thing I like most about just playing video games in general is it's actually a very affordable way of just getting entertainment. Um, you know, you go to a movie in a theater, you're easily spending $20 to get two hours of entertainment tops, usually, and you can find a video game off eBay for 10 bucks and play for 30, 50, even 100 hours, you never know. <laughs> so that, that's why I really like gaming. It's, you know, everyone can do it. 
it's not something that only like rich people can do or you know people that are even super busy can do it too you, just, you don't even have to like find a whole lot of time for it. you can just do it whenever you want so i think that's what i really like about video games it's just a very good way of entertaining yourself and you you know always have a good time if you've got the right game in front of you So how much do I spend on video games? Actually, not a whole lot. Um, I'm kind of a very cheap person anyway. <laughs> I usually only buy games if they're like, you know, a, got a really good sale or, you know, if I can find them at a thrift store or a pawn shop and stuff like that. I, I'd say the, you know, the majority of the games you see on my shelves here, I've, I've just gotten at thrift stores and pawn shops. Um, I'll buy like a new game that's, you know, like 50 or 60, $70 now, um, only maybe a few times a year. Uh, I really don't buy that many new games because even if a game's like a year or two old, you just wait around a little bit. You can get it for like 10 bucks usually. <laughs> you know, if you're, if you're uh, just clever, you know, wait for a good price off eBay or something. So uh, how much do I spend? It kind of just depends, you know, if I find something. I Honestly, I spend less than... In, in any given month, I say I spend less than $30, you know, typically. And especially now, I've, I've kind of slowed down a lot on collecting games, um, just because I have a lot. And uh, there's really not that many deals out there at the thrift stores and stuff anymore. The, the games have just kind of dried up. So it's a lot harder to find games than it used to be like 10 years ago, for sure. Now, this this question is probably the hardest one, I think. Um, I love playing games on all the consoles, to be honest. Even even some like NES games, I, I really just love, you know, <laughs> and I'll still play today, even though they're so old. But all the consoles from like NES up till the present, I just put a lot of hours on. So I think the only, re only way I can really answer this question is the probably like the amount of games and time I've put on any one console and i think the most amount of time and and games played is probably on the ps2 um, that system has just got a ton of great games on it and i've probably sunk more hours on my ps2 than any other console that i've owned i don't really have a favorite game per se but i do have a favorite series probably and that would probably be the final fantasy series uh, you know i played the first one on the nes when i was a kid and I've played almost every other one uh, up to present. Um, I've just pretty much liked almost every game in that franchise, well, with with a few exceptions. I, I actually didn't play the the newest one, number sixteen. It just looked a little dull to me. But overall, I'd say the Final Fantasy games have probably provided me with the most entertainment and uh, memories throughout the years. I haven't really watched a whole lot of uh, video game movies, to be honest. There's, you know, a bunch of like Resident Evil movies. I, I think I maybe saw the first one. Um, there was like a Silent Hill movie I just found out about. I don't think I ever watched that one. I remember the, watching the Street Fighter movie with like Van Damme in it a while ago. <laughs> but I, I think probably the, the one I remember the most is the first uh, Mortal Kombat movie they did. like. I think it was like 1995 or six or seven, somewhere in the late 90s they made that. And I was in high school at the time. I, I really liked that movie. You know, it had Bridget Wilson in it. I think that was her name, but she, she was pretty cute back in the day. And uh, I, I really liked the soundtrack to that movie. I actually bought it on CD. I remember like driving to high school, listening to that CD in my car. <laughs> that was probably my favorite video game movie. This one was another tricky question, I think. I, I don't really have a favorite video game character, I don't think. You know, I've, there's a lot of memorable characters like Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario and Zelda and, you know, probably a bunch of others too, but I've never really had, like, had a favorite, I don't think. So that, that's a really tricky question. Um, my favorite character right now, I'll tell you, is Eve from Stellar Blade, because, man, I could just watch her running around and slashing monsters and jumping and jiggling and man she she is just a lot of fun to look at so she's my favorite character right now i'd say <laughs>
So my least favorite type of game, and this is going to be kind of a silly answer, I guess, but, you know, games made for little kids. Um, I don't have any interest in playing them, obviously. I'm 45 years old. I don't need to play them. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's like a game that I just don't play. And I, my least favorite type of game would be, you know, something like Teletubbies or whatever. So that's all the questions, guys. Um, I guess I'm going to tag a couple other people now. Uh, one is my good friend El Toro Loco. His uh, channel is called The Fancy Action Now. I'll put his link in the um, description too so you can go check out his channel. And I'd also like to tag Wazzle. Uh, his channel is, I think, just called Wazzle. <laughs> but I'll link him in the description. And I'll also list the 10 questions you guys can answer, if you want, uh, in the description. And uh, who knows? This could be fun. So. I uh, hope you're all doing well out there, and uh, I will see you soon. Take care.